So let's start with Boyle's laws. Boyle's law states that the pressure of a gas with constant mass. Uh, constant mass means that if you have a container, okay, you have a container. It's, it's a closed system. It's a closed system, then the gas cannot come out. This is the gas particles, okay, the gas particles. Uh, the gas cannot come out. If the gas cannot come out, means that the amount of gas is the constant and therefore the mass is the constant, okay? This is a requirement for Boyle's law and for all the gas laws, uh, the, uh, the mass must be constant. It means it's a closed system, eh? the gas cannot come out or other gas cannot go in, okay? So the mass, the amount of gas is the same, gas particle is the same, and uh, the mass of the gas is a constant. So Boyle's law states that the pressure of a gas with constant mass is inversely proportional to its volume. So they tell us that the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume, means that uh, if, for this case, okay, if the amount of the gas particles are the same, but if we compress it, we compress this gas, okay, we reduce the volume, eh? we compress it to reduce the volume, the, the amount of gas particle is still the same, okay, still the same, but uh, after compressed, then the gas particles are closer to each other, eh? okay. So the smaller the volume, the higher the pressure. Okay, so it means if we compress the gas, then the pressure will be uh, higher, it will increase. Uh, and uh, the pressure is inversely proportional to the uh, volumes of the gas. Okay, and just now we learned that if uh, P inversely proportional to V, what's the formula that we can write if P is inversely proportional to V? P1V1 equals to P2. V2, that's correct. Okay, so P1, V1 equal to P2, V2. Okay, so that is the formula for Boyle's law. Why P1, V1 to P2, V2? Because they are inversely proportional. Explanations, why? Why when the volume decreased, then the pressure will increase, and when the volume increase, the pressure will decrease, why? Okay. Uh, according to kinetic theories of gases, uh, the gas particles are in constant motion. It means it keep on moving and moving and moving and it will not stop. Okay, so the gas particles, uh, the molecules of the gas, keep on moving and moving. That's according to the uh, kinetic theories of gas. If we have these uh, gas particles in a container, if we reduce Okay, this is the gas particles. Huh? If we reduce the volume, okay, we reduce the volume, then the number of gas particles per unit volume will increase, right? Okay, so let's say for this one, okay, for this one, one centimeter cube, there are one million gas molecule, okay? But if we compress it, okay, uh, the, the gas particles are closer to each other, okay? When they are closer to each other, then, um, let me write here, okay? So this one, one cm cube, uh, we have one million gas particles, okay? And after we compress it, this one centimeter cube, we may have uh, three million, three million uh, gas particles because the gas particles are closer to each other, okay? Same volume, we may have more air particles. Eh? So when the volumes of gas decreases, the number of gas per unit volume increases. Per unit volume means per one unit, eh? and the one unit is either one centimeter cube or one meter cube. Uh, that's the first point that uh, we need to know. So as a result, the frequency of collision between the air particles and the wall of the container increases. Uh, as I told you just now, okay, these air particles are in constant motion, they keep on moving. When they move, it will collide with the wall and bounce back, okay? So collide, bounce back, collide, bounce back, collide, bounce back. And uh, for this one, okay, because the volume is smaller and uh, the number of gas particles per unit volume is higher, so therefore, the gas particle will collide with the wall uh, more frequently, okay? The frequency will increase. Uh, 
this one maybe uh, every one second it will collect one million time this one every one second it may collect three million times because it has more particles per unit volume eh? okay one cm we have three millions particles so it, will, it may collect three million times okay so the frequency of collisions between the air particles and the wall of the container will increase okay collect more frequency okay and if it collects more frequency then the pressures of the gas will increase okay because the pressure of the gas is caused by the collisions between the air particles and the wall of the container okay if it collects more frequency then the pressures of the gas will increase so that's why when the volume of the gas decrease the pressure will increase yeah according to uh boy's law 